Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Zidu X9 Android TV box, which is a 4K quad-core um, Android box, which uh, features 2 gigabytes of RAM and H.265 uh, support for ultra-high resolution. Let's take a look in the box and see what we've got. So, straight out of the box we have a simple, sparse, you might say, user guide which just gets you going and basically plug it into your TV and power it up. And the unit itself, which is uh, looks at first glance nicely designed, have to say, with a lo nice little LCD on the front, which you don't get in many of these TV boxes, twin aerials at the back. We have USB uh, 3 and USB 2 slots on the, on the side and a micro SD card slot or TF card depending on what you want to call it. And then uh, on off LAN, optical, HDMI in and out, another interesting thing, and AV and audio in and out and the power in, and in of course. Nice ventilation slots, so it looks fairly and it feels kind of quite substantial it's nicely nicely built inside the box itself you get an hdmi cable so no surprises there power block and of course a remote control we'll take a look at this when we get the the box put, uh, hooked up to the television no batteries you'll need to go out and buy yourself a couple of aaas to go in the remote control let's have a look at it when it's plugged up so connection to the TV of this little Zidu is as painless as uh, all these Android TV boxes. Just a single connection with the HDMI from the TV into the box and the power lead and you're good to go. Of course with all those sockets and things you've got lots of expansion capabilities to adding um, S uh, USB cards and all that kind of stuff. And then once you're up you just power it up and you get a nice little LCD um, clock display which is quite cute right so let's see what it looks like on the TV shall we so there are two things that hit you immediately once you power up the uh, the Zidu and one is that this, this got this great um, UI um, completely divorced of anything to do with Android whatsoever this is a proper media center uh, interface this is the kind of thing you you would uh, expect to find to make life easy to navigate around really impressed with that so you have two uh, choice navigation modes since you don't have air mouse you can either just do the click and the click and move like so i've got to point it down to the box of course or you hit this button here and it goes into mouse mode and in which case oh no, sorry you gotta, you'll see the mouse suddenly appear there there you go and it's, I mean, it's, it's not as bad as some we've seen but it's still not not very elegant you have full full Android access of course just by so the first thing you have to do is to set up the um, the Wi-Fi it's running Android 4.4.2 um, and you get all the cool stuff like system updates although I would advise that you uh, and there are updates that are actually being shipped so as you can see I'm part way through a download of an upgrade here it does take a long time over the Wi-Fi here it might be better to download it from the forums they, the, the company gives you a Zidu forum where you can download the firmware updates and do the the put it onto a USB key and do the upgrade locally I think that's probably a better bet actually one of the things you can do with this uh, Zidu X9, which is really quite neat, is this HDMI in with a recording function. Um, here I've just got a little quick test here. You could obviously plug your HDMI laptop in or anything, that, anything like that, or set-top box. I've got a set-top box, a Sky set-top box here, which is decoded. Okay, well here we are. Um, we've got the set-top box plugged in. Go into HDMI in, and let's have a look and see right so there we go uh if i escape out of this this is what's actually going on uh, live on the set top box at the moment so i'll just mute that and so i don't get in trouble with the copyright cops and we'll go back and so now from here i can actually record so i've got a choice of uh, full hd hd and vga keep it on full hd I can, I've got a call, uh, choice of formats between MP4 and, and TS, and I can also schedule 
recordings for a, a period of time and in the future and add it there. Press the start record button and you see at the bottom uh, it's starting to add up the record time. So eight seconds, nine seconds, etc. And you can record as long as, you, as, as long as you've got space, I suppose. <laughs> Once you've done that, you can press stop, start, and then move across to the very handy lists function here. And there you go, there's the recordings that we've done. So you can see it's quite, it's, it, it's fairly simple to understand and hit play and this is the recording. The quality is, the quality is definitely downgraded and there's no audio. I have a feeling I may be able to get an audio out of it if I get a, a optical cable because it's optical on the set top box and optical on the Zidu but I haven't got around to that yet, so this is just a demo. So what else do you have? Well, you have full app manager, as you'd expect, um, and it comes with a bunch of stuff. You will have to, on a lot of these things, you will have to, of course, uh, have Google account. All these games that are uh, represented by icons are actually waiting for you to download. But, and there's Cody, of course, the old, X, or the new XBMC, I should say. <laughs> Um, keep up there at the back and uh, again it comes fairly basic you have to install your own your own um, add-ons but there's nothing new to that the the process is very simple so when you start up you'll be in this menu and for those of you who are newcomers to Kodi or XBMC the thing to do is to just go in click on system and go down to add-ons and what you'll find is there are add-ons, repositories of add-ons already available. And the one you should use in this particular case is the Kodi add-on repository. Just click on that and you will have a choice of things you can actually install to make your media center more of a of an all-round cool entertainment center. There you go. So you have a bunch of stuff here and then what you can do is go down and select video add-ons if you're interested in the video, of course. And here's a bunch of standard, all legal uh, channels you can use, which are part of the Kodi experience. And this, you know, ranges from things like College Humor. So if I wanted to install that, I just literally press OK and then press OK again. And that's the OK button in the middle, in the middle there I'm pressing, by the way. And off it goes. And once I come out again, then there are a number, a number of ways you can actually set up your menuing on this. I won't go into that. That's a, that's a, you need a full video for that. Um, but basically, you just go into the video add-ons, and as you can see, there's College Humor, which has just arrived. Let me show you stuff that's already on that I put on there yesterday. So here, for instance, is a Greenpeace piece on ocean stuff and fishing out in the out in the deep oceans as you can see the quality is pretty awesome um, coming through Cody there so you know you'll uh, you'll, you'll find no uh, as long as you've got a good enough connection of course you need uh, but the Wi-Fi is rock solid the 2.5 or 5 gigahertz options you've got on this Wi-Fi with the antennas means that this box is is locked on not getting any dropouts or any problems at all um, with uh, with streaming this from the uh, router next door Pretty cool all around, really. Well, here we are in a uh, Asphalt 8. Um, I'm not gonna bother steering this, I'm just gonna let it drive. <laughs> and you'll, as you'll see, it goes quite well. <laughs> uh, you're just really just looking at the, the, uh, the graphics. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's good enough for playing games, and uh, certainly you're getting a, a decent enough frame rate. So now let's take a look at something like the 4K. We'll do our, our fake 4K view and just give it an idea of, of how well it handles YouTube videos in high resolution or as high as we can get it. So here's our 4K demo again, looking as splendid as you'd expect. I mean, it's obviously not on a 4K. I repeat, it's not on a 4K television, so. I'm just <laughs> trying to show the fake, the fake 4K to show how we are uh, handling the the panning and all that kind of stuff at high resolution or the highest resolution we can lay our hands on. And this is Peru, looking rather beautiful, as you can see. 
So I don't think you'll have any complaints about the quality. Ah, I just found an interesting little thing. There's a, uh, a, a remote, a Zidu remote control you can download. Let me just capture that. Oh, let me just come out and capture that in a uh, barcode reader. And we can, we can see what, uh, what the score is. There you go. So it'll work on Android only at the moment. And there you have it. I've just uh, downloaded the Zidu TV remote control. You have to link it with your box. And then one assumes from then on, you can just do everything you want to do on it. Yeah, you can using, using the remote control, the, uh, the phone. So <laughs> that's quite cool. In fact, I, f I found a bunch of controls. You can have key mode, a mouse gesture mode. So if you do it in gesture mode, you do strikes back and forth on the touchpad on your phone and then double hit to access. So that's pretty cool actually. Yeah, I like this. This is uh, okay. This actually works. Okay, so that's the uh, Zidu X9 Android TV box. On quick summary, nice box, has a great UI, I really like this, this colourful UI, great for newcomers to Android TV boxes, beautiful design, solid, uh, and works pretty well. And I love this little app, this little Android app that you get um, as a remote control, it really works well. So the Zidu X9, yeah, pretty good. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.